I'm Hewan Hook, and this is The Real Review. The wine we're tasting today is Broken Wood Graveyard Vineyard Shiraz 2017 from the Hunter Valley. Three Sydney lawyers back in um, ooh, the late 70s, James Halliday was one of them and two of his mates from the legal profession in, uh, in Sydney decided to make wine. So they bought some land in the Hunter Valley in 1968 and they built a little winery, they called it Brokenwood, and the first vintage was 1983 of this wine, but uh, you know, Brokenwood's earlier, first vintage was earlier than that, but 83 was the first vintage of the graveyard. So the graveyard is the vineyard that's right next beside the winery at Brokenwood. Why is it called the graveyard? Um, it's a story that goes back to the 19th century. The land was actually gazetted for a cemetery, the Colburn Cemetery, but it was never used as such, mercifully. But the guys from Brokenwood planted it. They found it was a tricky bit of land. It was not easy to coax great wine out of this difficult piece of land. But eventually they started producing some fantastic fruit. It's quite a large vineyard, 15 hectares. Um, but uh, in 1983 it was the first year they produced a single bottling of graveyard vintage Shiraz, 1983. It's the same year that Ian Riggs arrived at Brokenwood. And Ian, of course, uh, a bit of a legend in the wine industry. He's just retired this year from Brokenwood, but he uh, he put Brokenwood on the map. He established this wine, made it what it is, promoted it. It's now a $300 a bottle wine, which uh, you know, the price has gone up. It's a very collectible wine. It's the only Hunter Valley wine that's in the top level of the Langdon's classification. So um, a fabulous wine. It sort of treads in the footsteps of the early pioneers of the Hunter, people like, Cal uh, like uh, Morris O'Shea, who uh, made some fantastic Shiraz in the Hunter Valley. Um, this is a, a low yielding vineyard, a low yielding vineyard that's um, and not every year produces a graveyard Shiraz, but because um, occasionally they do have these wet vintages in the Hunter that where everything is, is rained out. But uh, this wine has really been on song for the last decade or so. It's been fantastic. Colour, nice and deep, not too dark, but good purple tinge, still quite youthful to look at. And the nose is quite extraordinary. To me, that is a distinctive Hunter Valley Shiraz nose. It couldn't really come from anywhere else. Um, yes, there's the spiciness and the plumminess of Shiraz buried deep in there, but it's also got this earthy character, this graphite, almost a leather character. Um, occasionally when it gets really intense in some of the Hunter wines, I, I refer to as coal dust which a lot of them wouldn't thank me for because it's a coal mining area. But um, this wine has this minerally earthy graphite kind of sooty almost character about it, which added to all of the other things makes it a very complex wine. There's charcuterie there, there's smoked meats, there's all sorts of things coming out of that glass. Mm. And that is just gorgeous. It's full bodied, there's no doubt that it's full bodied, but the tannins are soft, there's a lot of tannin there, but they're supple, rounded, they're approachable tannins, not astringent tannins, uh, but there's, there's enough tannin there to help it age for a long time. This wine is going to be very long lived indeed. Add to, add to that the fact that it's got a screw cap on it and that wine will be guaranteed a long life. I think the length of palate is excellent. The complexity of that wine, even though it's just three years old, is really quite astonishing. So how did we rate this wine? Well, we scored it uh, 95 out of 100, uh, which I think is, um, it's, a, it's a basic gold medal score. It was tasted um, as, as a young wine, of course. I think that wine is going to be worth more points than that in the future. It's certainly going to be going onwards and upwards from here. 
It's a gorgeous wine with it rated number 24 out of 115. Shiraz is from the Hunter in 2017 vintage. That's a lot of Shiraz. Um, we've suggested drinking it from now until 2035. That is an outstanding graveyard. Um, and I think the graveyard uh, certainly deserves its reputation as the greatest Hunter Valley Red of the modern era. So what would you serve with a wine like this? We always ask the winemaker to recommend something. The senior winemaker at Broken Wood for the last few years has been a young man called Stuart Horden, and Stuart suggests Osso Bucco or Slow Roasted Lamb Shoulder. Well, they're both sort of singing from the same hymn book, aren't they? Uh, long, slow cooking. To, to, to make the meat nice and tender and fall off the bone soft and, uh, and, and very complex flavour. So enjoy the graveyard. As John Beeston used to say, one of the founding partners of Broken Wood, he used to say, one day we shall all come to it, but for now I commend the graveyard to you. Cheers. <laughs>